Well, the fountains really opened last night, and we got some good rain in a lot of, pli- a lot of places in Colorado. A little too much of a good thing in some spots, Dave, but I'll tell you, in the foothills, we needed that. Yeah, oh, I'll tell you what, and this time of year, that's what you get. You get these heavy, slow-moving thunderstorms, but it comes just uh, at the right time for us uh, this year because a lot of areas have been so dry. Right now, temperatures are pretty nice, mostly 60s, showing up across the state, 61 in Fort Collins, Boulder, Greeley, at DIA, and in Colorado Springs. Look at that uh, popular temperature this morning. All the rain we had uh, last night was pretty uh, incredible, up to Fort Collins and Greeley, South Denver, all the way down to Colorado Springs. Some areas from Douglas County and Elbert County, up to five inches of rain. Colorado Springs had a record rainfall yesterday at uh, 1.66. And uh, as you can see, most of the rain now has come to an end. Still some lingering thunderstorms down here in the southeast and some clouds and some fog out over the eastern plains. But once you hit Fort Collins, Denver, Colorado Springs into the west, it's mostly clear this morning. Look at some of our weather watcher reports uh, from uh, yesterday. Irv Crump and South Parker, over three quarters of an inch of rain there. Uh, an inch and a quarter from Jerry Johnston, South Castle Rock, and Phil Curry, who lives in East Franktown, 5.72 inches of rainfall. Needless to say, there was some street flooding going on South Denver Metro all the way down to Colorado Springs. Now, this morning, we've got these storms going on in the southeast. Those will weaken somewhat, but you can see the moisture stays intact in most locations here in the east. So we'll have isolated thunderstorms again rumble through. Our best chance for Denver will be most likely after about 2 or 3 o'clock, but they could have heavy rain for the afternoon commute today. And in the green shaded area from Colorado Springs through Denver all the way up into southern Wyoming, there is a threat of heavy rain at any of these storms that do develop. It's a marginal threat, but there could be some heavy duty storms again uh, blossoming up today. 90s out west, but most everybody else in the 80s and 70s across the state today, including Denver. Our high should be about 83, 20% chance of storms this afternoon. Same deal tomorrow with 87 degrees, and we keep it in the mid 80s all the way through the weekend. Each day, Joel, we have a chance of thunderstorms could be some heavy storms uh, a good chance of that at least coming up on saturday afternoon as well